Okay, I've tried now twice to try to process a batch of spinach in my freeze dryer and on both occasions I was getting the uh, low vacuum warning. Now according to Harvest Right, if you can't get down to 500 millitors in 30 minutes that will trigger the low vacuum warning. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to go after the low fruit. The first thing we're going to inspect our door gasket. So we're going to take this off and we're going to take a look at it all the way around. We're going to clean it up. So we're going to get some good old fashioned water and go around and we're going to clean the sill. Now to test the ball valve, it's basically the same thing as testing the vacuum pump. Come back over here, we're going to hit the leaf, we're going to turn our vacuum pump on. We're going to close the valve for two minutes and let it build up some vacuum and then we're going to go ahead and test the valve. Okay, we're at two minutes and we're about 1900 millitors, that's going to be just fine. We're going to come back over to the vacuum valve, we're going to go right down to the hose and I got some blue colored water, we're going to stick that up in there and we're going to see if that blue water is drawn up towards the ball valve. If the ball valve is bad and leaking, it'll suck up the blue water. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look at our JIC fittings here and the JIC fittings back here. These are three quarter inch fittings, which means they are number 12. So we're going to go ahead and take these off and we're going to inspect the uh, mating surfaces. Okay, you want to look inside of here and take a look at that O-ring down inside. Make sure it doesn't have any nicks or any cuts. Then we want to take a look at the GIC male fittings. We're looking for any scores or scratches from over tightening. And we're going to review that in a moment. And we're going to check this one out right here. I think I found my problem. Okay, so this is the JIC fitting going in. Take a look at this. I can feel a lot of looseness in this fitting. But in order to tighten this fitting inside, I got to take off the back panel. Before I do that, I'm going to continue on on my uh, vacuum leak check. Okay, just a note on tightening the JIC fitting. You want to go ahead and finger tight the fitting until it stops. And then technically, if you really, really want to do it correctly, you want to come down here and you want to make a mark on the shoulder and a mark on the flat. Okay. Now, according to uh, the uh, instructions on a JIC fitting, you want on the number 12, you only want to tighten it between one to one half flat. So we only want to go from here over to this side over here. Okay, so that's one flat from here to here. You don't want to tighten it any more than that. So don't put a wrench on there and put it on at 100 foot pounds because you're going to really screw things up. Okay, I went ahead and tightened the fitting onto my vacuum pump and I've attached my gauge to the other end. This is the end that normally goes into the freeze dryer. And we're going to come over here to the Harvest Right screen. We're going to press the leaf and this will give us all our different function tests. So we want to go ahead and hit vacuum. And we're going to come back over here and we are reading 24 inches of mercury. So we'll have to convert 24 inches of mercury into millitors. Come back here, turn off the vacuum, and we're done with that vacuum test. That is basically the simple things you can do for a vacuum leak. The next thing we're going to do is going to be a little bit more difficult. In order to get to this valve to check the fittings behind it, we've got to take off this back. So safety first, we've got to de-energize -ener freeze dryer. We're going to plug it, make sure it's de-energized, no power going to it. Then we have to take off all these bolts all the way around to get access to this. 
And since I'm doing this, I'll probably end up cleaning the condenser. As you're taking off the back cover, these two bottom bolts that have a penetration hole through, just leave these alone. You don't need to take those two off. The last thing you want to do is leave one screw attached at the top. Take that out last just to keep the back of the freeze dryer from falling. This is the JIC fitting from inside the freeze dryer. And as you can see, loosey goosey, that is my problem. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up and we'll do another vacuum test. And I'm sure this is the problem of my vacuum leak. Before I close this up, I'm going to go ahead and just test the chamber, make sure I can pull a vacuum. So I have everything all hooked up to the vacuum pump. Now this little thing right here, this is something I'm going to be making a video on shortly, but I'm not ready to do it. I'm still doing some testing on it, but basically it's a vacuum filter uh, and a dryer. But anyway, enough said on that. Okay, we're going to go back up to the screen. We're going to hit the leaf and we're going to just hit vacuum. And I'm going to let this run for a few minutes and see what it pulls. Okay, we're pulling 312 millitors. Everything is back to normal and working well. So it looked like that that back connection back here was the problem. But working now. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and comments are welcome.